pull. I have a few of those. So now let's move on to the real credit cards that I have. And like I said in my introduction video, my credit score was in the low 500s when I started. So a lot of these cards helped me build up to an 800 in certain ways. For example, I had a bunch of debt. I had balances on a bunch of credit cards with high interest rates. So I checked for pre-approvals and I applied for a couple. These are no interest balance transfer cards. Some of them do have a 3 or 5% transfer rate, but that's a small fee in comparison to what I was paying on multiple cards with very high interest rates. So I got a Discover card, a Chase Freedom Unlimited, a City Simplicity card, which I later upgraded to a City Double Cash, and then I also opened up an MX Cash card. Now some of these cards give me a four or $5,000 credit limit. American Express gave me a $1,000 credit limit. I transferred all of that debt that I had on my Capital Ones and my DCU card, and I stopped using those cards altogether. All those cards that had a high interest rate. And then the cards that now have a balance on it, they just went into a drawer, never to be touched, uh, just to be paid off. So then I used one credit card at that point, the MX Cash card. That gave me 18 months, 0% interest on all purchases. So everything I bought was on that one card where I could control it, uh, keep track of everything daily, everything I spent. It all got paid off as I go. And I also earned a couple hundred dollars in cash back as well. Uh, rewards were something like five or six hundred dollars in addition to a two hundred fifty dollar bonus offer. So over time I was diligent, I paid everything off at a much cheaper rate than a loan or trying to make the payments to all of these high interest cards itself. 